it's time to check out the news inside this morning. We spend so much time looking at the news outside that we don't keep track of what's going on inside our own minds. And that's got things backwards, because the news outside, one, is about things over which you have very little control. And two, oftentimes you have to wonder, when they're telling you something, why are they telling it to you? What do they want you to believe? Whereas the news inside, what's going on in your mind, that's potentially something you really, well, you really do need to know, and potentially something you can gain some control over. The problem is that there are parts of your mind that are also giving you misinformation, so you've got to look really carefully at what's going on in the mind. This is why we hold on to the breath, because it puts you in the present moment, so you're not being carried off into thoughts of the past, thoughts of the future, so you can actually see what's going on in the mind. What are the machinations of the mind as it creates an, an idea, as it creates a desire, as it creates an impulse? If you can see those machinations in action, you begin to question some of the things they're producing. You begin to see that the procedure or the process is not all that reliable. So you have to look more carefully. What can you rely on? Well, you develop your own mindfulness, you develop your own alertness to watch things, and particularly to see what's causing suffering and what's not. Because when you're honest with yourself, you can see that very clearly. You do something and there's going to be stress. Now, sometimes the stress is stress you have to put up with because you need to develop certain qualities of the mind and it takes work. But other times the mind is creating a lot of unnecessary stuff and weighing itself down to no purpose at all. That's what you want to catch. I mean, if you can see that, there's no question about it. Okay, it is stressful. The next question is, is it necessary? And you find a lot of the stress that you place on the mind is unnecessary. In fact, all the stress you place on the mind is unnecessary. There's some stress that comes just living in the world, but that's not going to be a burden on the mind unless the mind pulls it in and weighs itself down. So here's something you can do something about. You can gain some control inside. Get the mind to think about things that are worth thinking about, and just to be still when all the ideas that are coming up are totally worthless. And you're in a better position to judge which is which, and to get some control over your thoughts. Those are some of the purposes of getting the mind here in the present moment to see what's actually going on. Because you do have the power of choice right here, right now. You're shaping the present moment, you're shaping the future. So you want to shape it well, and you have the ability. You have the potential to shape it well. So pay careful attention to the news inside. It's really useful information to know. As for the news outside, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. But as I said, almost all of it is about things you can't control. So pay attention to the things you can control, because if you can't control your own mind, where are you? What refuge do you have in life? It's when the mind is under control that you have a refuge that you can depend on everywhere you go, safe everywhere you go, because you're not creating danger. 